Hi there. Ooh. This is a yellow rat snake in the driveway. You off to get some birds? Some nestlings? Yeah? Warm weather's bringing them all out. This is the second one I've seen in a week. Yes. This is a constrictor. It'll squeeze its prey to death, and then when it's expired, it'll consume it. Last week I found one of these in a bluebird box and had consumed all the little bluebird hatchlings. Lou, this is a snake. You stay away from them, okay? Okay, we're gonna let it go. Oh my goodness. So this is the second snake in about five minutes time. So this is a corn snake. I'm going to try and grab it here without getting bit. So beautiful. Look at the colors. Another constrictor, just like the yellow rat snake. You don't see this one as often though. Red rat snake, corn snake, is a constrictor just like the yellow rat snake we saw briefly a little while ago. And um, this warm weather, a little bit of rain that we had yesterday, is bringing them all out. They're very active and they're looking for prey. All right, we're gonna release this beauty, let it go on its way and do what it's gonna do. Well, there's a snake in this potato patch. This is a shed snake skin, so means there's a snake in here. We're going to find it. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh. What a beautiful snake. Look what we found in our potato patch. This is a red rat snake, often called a corn snake. And this is one of the good snakes. This is a constrictor tends to go after rodents, maybe small birds. And in this case, this snake was after the rats or mice that were eating the potatoes in the potato patch. So we're gonna go ahead and release this beautiful snake, put it down in the hay mulch and let it go on its way. Here's what I expect to find tonight. A whole bunch of southern toads, maybe some tree frogs on the driveway. If we're lucky, maybe we'll see a rat snake or two. That's a Chuck Will's widow. That's a, it's a nighttime bird. You don't usually see many nighttime birds, but this is one. And it goes, its call goes like this. Chuck Will's widow, Chuck Will's widow, Chuck Will's widow. Look at this cute little toad. It's a southern toad. There is a bunch of them out tonight. And they make a pretty shrill little call when they're mating, and that's what we can hear when we're driving on the back roads. They go like that. This is an amphibian. It's not a frog. It's a toad, so it's more terrestrial. And they're out all over the roads tonight because we had a good rain. So we're going to see dozens of these. Isn't it cute? Here we have a beautiful southern toad. It's an amphibian, but uh, it's a toad, not a frog. And that means it's more terrestrial and it's out on the dirt roads after we had a good thunderstorm and everyone is out and active. So the southern toad, like many toads, have poison glands, parotid glands, one on each side. And so when they feel threatened, they can um, squeeze a little bit of poisonous alkaloid um, toxin out of that. And some animals like dogs that eat these toads can get kind of sick from that. 
I have a rotted frog. This looks like a bullfrog. Look at those webbed feet. Good for swimming. What are you doing on the road? Making it from one ditch to the next? Yeah. The way you can tell is you look at their tympanum, their, their membrane over their ear, and you look at it compared to the size of the eye. And if it's about the same size as the eye or smaller, it's supposed to be a female. And if it's larger than the eye, it's supposed to be a male. So this looks like it's probably a girl. Always have bigger ears, maybe so that they can hear other males calling and they can kind of gauge the competition. At least that's, that's what we suppose.